Sonia Mirza moved into the women's semi-finals. India also moved into the semi-finals of badminton mixed team event. India has 14 gold, 11 silver and 9 bronze medals to its credit so far. Australia continues to lead the tally with a huge margin. It has 30 gold, 19 silver and 17 bronze medals. England is at third place with 12 gold, 23 silver and 11 bronze. India has asked the global community to persuade and compel Pakistan to destroy all terror camps on its territory by taking serious note of former President Pervez Musharraf's remarks on the country supporting these outfits. Talking to newsmen on the sidelines of Indo-Russia Defence Minister's meet in New Delhi yesterday, Defence Minister A. K. Anthony said that it is not a secret that Pakistan is spanning terror attacks on India and that it was repeatedly reminded to dismantle the 44 terror outfits operating from their country. He was responding to a question on what he thought of Musharraf's remarks in an interview to a German magazine, Der Spiegel, recently. Asked about Afghanistan situation, the defense minister said he had discussed the South Asian neighbor with his Russian counterpart over the last two days. Both countries felt that Afghanistan should not become a safe haven for terrorists. He said both India and Russia are interested in peace and stability in Afghanistan. India has demanded strong action against New Zealand's TV anchor racial remark against Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit on its prime news channel. This was conveyed to New Zealand High Commissioner Rupert Holbro, who has summoned to External Affairs Ministry yesterday. An External Affairs Ministry statement in New Delhi said, Holbro conveyed deep regret for the hurt caused by the comments of the media commentator. He characterized the comments as culturally insensitive, inappropriate and vulgar. The New Zealand ambassador said they are certainly not the views of the government of New Zealand. The Indian High Commissioner in New Zealand has taken up the matter with the government of New Zealand. India is planning an investment of 1 trillion rupees in food processing sector over the next five years. Minister for Food Processing Industries Subodh Khan Sahai said in New Delhi yesterday that there is a need for second green revolution in the country and said it could only be possible with the help of corporate investment in the farm sector. He was speaking to reporters on the sidelines of a conference on Indo-French cooperation in food processing sector. Earlier during the conference, he asked the French business delegates to step their investment in food processing and farm infrastructure sector. So he said agriculture produces worth 500 billion rupees go waste at various stages during and after harvesting due to fragmented farming, lack of coal chains, transportation and processing facilities. This is All India Radio, giving you the news. India has to acquire 250 to 300 fifth generation fighter aircraft and 45 multi-role transport aircraft to modernize its air capabilities. The major defense deal provides for $25 billion for the fighter jets. 